Yesterday, Nintendo dropped its September Direct and GRPG fans, we are eating good. Hello everyone, my name is Kratos and welcome to your first GRPG News Corner. So before we get into all the juicy and cool JRPG news that we have today, uh, I just wanted to introduce a series a little bit. This is going to be a new thing I'm going to do on the channel where whenever there's news about JRPG or news I can find up, dig up or whatever, I'll make a little video, talk about it, give you guys my thoughts because uh, I love the JRPG genre and this channel is mostly focused on, on those. So let's get into it. Little disclaimer uh, before we really get into it. Uh, I'm, I'm sick currently, so if my voice sounds a little weird, I apologize ahead of time. Uh, I just really wanted to release this video and make it uh, for your viewing uh, pleasure. All right, so I'll be getting into breaking down all the JRPGs that were announced in the Direct or JRPG-esque adjacent games, all, all that stuff. We're going to talk about it. And of course, we're going to have to start with Fire Emblem because, you know, as much as the biggest one, you know, we're going to start with it because Nintendo started with it. So let's do the same. So Fire Emblem Engage uh, is going to be dropped on January 20th of 2023. So one of the first few games of the year, next year will be the newest Fire Emblem. So this one will be set in a new continent called Elios, where the player becomes a divine dragon called Aelir. So basically from what I can get from watching the gameplay trailer and everything, uh, it seems you're playing through with this character, um, Aelir, who has slept for thousands of years, who's a descendant of, uh, of a race of mythical uh, being called divine dragons. Something really cool that they showcased was that, that in the game you'll be allowed to play as lords of previous Fire Emblem class. Uh, uh, I believe in the trailer we saw Cecilia and Marf and uh, Sigrid and also uh, throughout the rotating little um, animation at the start. There may have been traces of Lynn, Erica. Basically how the Lords seem to work is you bond with them through uh, certain characters having rings, which seem to also be the main quest of the game to be gathering those rings uh, for a certain reason to put away probably the fell dragon, which is uh, seems to be the main antagonist of the game, which also arcans back to a more supernatural element. Uh, made me think a little bit of, of Sacred Stones where, you know, there's the Entombed and, and the, the, the Revenants. Well, in this game, it seems like this fell dragon is an army of these of these kind of like undead-ish creatures that we saw in the trailer. But from what we also saw in the trailer, the rings allow you to start uh, making special attacks by being bound through uh, a certain lord. So we saw our main character being bound to Marth and doing a special attack. And even beyond that, I think uh, there is something to do with emblems, maybe the fire emblems, uh, as you may collect them throughout the game. It seems that your lord or certain characters can fuse with their, their counterpart and, and end up becoming uh, an even stronger version, which is super interesting to me. That feels like a really cool addition to, um, to the gameplay loop. Something I'm extremely excited about beyond anything, uh, something I hated about three houses that they took out is the weapon triangle. And from one little snippet of gameplay, which you should be seeing on screen right now, I believe it is back. I believe it is back as you can see here, sword, is is weak to lance i think it's back people i think we have weapon triangles back and it also seems like there's a new weapon type uh we have this thing here called iron body art so martial arts type of of gameplay i maybe maybe it's a new sort of weapon is it going to be integrated in the triangle is it going to be its own thing I guess we'll just have to wait to see. And they're retaking some of the great elements from Three Houses, such as like the overworld, where here you seem to be running around a city uh, with stores and where you can change your outfits and such. Overall, Engage to me looks really good. The, the just, just the arts and graphics of the game so far have been uh, looking pretty neat, pretty crisp. And really from this one trailer, I have nothing bad to say about it. Uh, I, of course, you could chalk that up to me being a, a stan of this franchise. But so far, it looks very interesting, looks very cool. I will admit at first when I saw the trailer drop and I was seeing the lords and everything, I was like, ah, is this another Fire, em Fire Emblem Heroes type of thing? I really thought they were they were announcing that, so I was a little turned off at the start. And then as the trailer kind of uh, rolled through, I started warming up to the idea of the heroes because they seem to be more of an attack than, a, than a, just a bonus thing that has nothing to do with the story. They seem to be integrated within the story, which I think is a good idea. So the game again drops on, on January 20th of 2023. Will you be picking up this game? I will, despite one little thing, actually, the name. Fire Emblem Engage doesn't sound as cool as other Fire Emblem game names before that. You know, Sacred Stones, uh, Radiant Dawn, Path of Radiance, Awakening, even Three Houses. 
they had just kind of a more uh, vivid name here. It seems like when, from what I got from the trailer, it seems that it's called Engage because when they put on the ring and become like the, the fusion, like the fucking Transformer fusion, like a uh, Power Ranger fusion, sorry, uh, thingy, they, um, they say Engage. They said something like Emblem Engage, which, look, I don't know. Uh, but maybe it's why that's why they named it that. I think it's a pretty weak name. They could have named it something more, uh, you know, more fantasy as than Engage. Engage really felt like a mobile game name to me at first, but turns out it's a mainline series game. I'm still excited despite the, the you know, I will say a bad name, a bad name of a game. Um, and and I'm, I'm just excited. So yeah, will you guys be picking up this game? Tell me more in the comments. Are you excited? Uh, I will be trying to pick up the Divine Edition, which is with like the art books and everything. It looks fantastic. Next up, Xenoblade fans. Hold on to your butts, because Xenoblade Chronicle 3 is getting a free update of Volume 2. It is a free update. Uh, I already said free, but it's okay. I'll say it twice. It's free. Get it. Go play it. It's releasing October 14th, so in a month from now. And uh, you get a new hero called Eno. Uh, you have to do a new quest to have her join you. I haven't played Xenoblade Chronicle 3 yet, so I do not know what it entails. But I can tell you, uh, she looks pretty cool. She looks like a kind of like a mech hybrid or something. I'm, I'm quite interested. Uh, you can also have a new uh, sort of battle system through a challenge battle, which seems to be like waves coming at you. They added that in the update, and there's going to be an update 3 coming out uh, in the few next months following that. So, Xenoblade fans, you're still eating good. You, 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 you do you. Enjoy that. Enjoy that update. But before we get into more kind of quote-unquote big ones, because there's two other big things on here that I want to talk about, I'm just going to start rapid firing through a couple of things I'm kind of like, so so on or like just kind of there's an interest there but i don't know much or there's not much to say they just kind of showed a gameplay loop or a gameplay trailer so i'm not going with rune factory 3 which is releasing in 2023 i did not get the date uh maybe i'm wrong i'll add a note if i find the date uh but i did not find the date i just know 2023 it's a remake uh it's made for switch it looks kind of cool looks like a fun uh farming sim meets jrpg uh, I thought it looked interesting and the Rune Factory franchise is a very, a very popular franchise amongst a lot of people. Pretty exciting stuff. And also, even more exciting, a new Rune Factory series, uh, that's an important word they said there, is launching in the future. They didn't say any dates, they said a series. So maybe it's going to be a spin-off, maybe it's going to be a new kind of, of series they're just imagining with Rune Factory. I don't know. I thought, I thought the word not new, new Rune Factory game, but Rune Factory series felt interesting to me it felt like a, a a very specific word choice beyond that we don't know much yet but kind of cool for rune factory fans and i'll keep an eye on it because it looked kind of fun and i may pick up rune factory in the future we'll see what happens then we have various day life which honestly personally look kind of forgettable apparently there's a bunch of uh, you know interaction with the citizen of the town that can change your relationship with them it looks kind of like a uh, relationship sim, like maybe a kind of a dating sim meets GRPG. The battle looked kind of like okay-ish, very like, not two-dimensional, but like, it's kind of a plane and, you know, it didn't look crazy, but it's available now. You can get it on Switch if you want through the store. I don't know the price tag on it. Might, uh, I'll pop it up on the screen at the moment. You know, look kind of forgettable, but it's a game out there. Uh, Vera's Day Life, if you have something for you. Check it out. Pick it up. Atelier Ryza 3, which is dropping on February 22nd, 2000. Three, 2003, 2023. Uh, no, it seems to be a pretty uh, popular franchise that I don't know much about. Looked okay. Damn combat looked cool. Looked like you could take down trees for maybe like uh, picking up um, resources for for X Y re reason. Maybe I tell your fans know how that works, but I had no idea. I just kind of looked at the gameplay trailer. Looked all right. Looked okay. Uh, and I, a game I'm going to keep an eye on depending on what's going on in February. If I have nothing else to play, which I doubt I'll probably still be on Fire Emblem at that point. Uh, I might keep an eye on it. We'll see if we get back to it. But I tell you, Rise of 3, if you're a fan of that franchise, well, there's one coming up. Then at the end of the direct, we saw a, a little snippet of a game called Romancing Saga Minstrel Song Remastered. So for people who are fans of that, game it looks like an older game uh, i have never played it it looked cool look the designs look quite quite interesting uh so doesn't look bad per se but might make some of y'all really happy it's coming out on december 1st 2022 and one of the one other little quick announcement that was dropped there was tales of symphonia remastered this is nothing to write home to your mom about However, I'm a big fan of Tales of Symphonia. My name Kratos comes actually from one of the characters in the game, if you know the game. Um, as a kid, I love that character. Thought he looked cool as heck. 
uh remastered you know this it this remastered is pretty much available everywhere at this point like i have it on pc um but it's available on switch for those who do not own a pc you will be able to pick up tales of symphonia remastered uh I, did, I forgot to pick up the date. Oh, it's gonna be on the screen. But you should play it if you haven't played it. I, I highly recommend it. One of my favorite games of all time. Uh, it's gonna be on the piece. It's gonna be on the Switch now. So you'll be able to play, pick it up on Switch. Yay for Tales of Symphonia Remastered. Okay, okay. Now one of the other things I know y'all are here for: Crisis Core Final Fantasy VII Reunion dropping on December thirteenth, two thousand twenty-two. This is an HD remake of the PSP, I believe, classic. Uh, it is a very, very popular game as the Final Fantasy VII uh, brand is very much alive and loved uh, by, by, by a lot of people. Um, yeah, so I personally never played it, but I can't wait to try it because I've also never played Final Fantasy VII or nor the remake. But I've seen a lot of people play them and they look fantastic. They look really cool. I've been told to play them multiple times. I will. I am getting there. I have a super big backlog. Stop screaming at me. Uh, but it gave me Final Fantasy VII Remake vibes in the term of the gameplay, which makes sense. They're kind of hey, trying to hit that mark there. It's the kind of the prequel to it. Uh, so you'll be able to play uh, as Cloud, Sephiroth, and and Zack. I, I had to blank there for a second. I had to look at it. And while we are on the topic of Final Fantasy, this is not a JRPG per se, but I would be remiss to not mention it. Theater Rhythm Final Bar Line dropping on 16th of February 2023. Rhythm game, if you love rhythm games and you love or you love just the Final Fantasy music, which why why wouldn't you? It's fantastic. Just, the music is one of the highlights of that whole franchise, like through and through. The e new rhythm game where you can play the Final Fantasy music looks pretty sick. I thought I'd mention it because you know we're talking about Final Fantasy. We're on the topic. Might mention it. It's dropping. Pick it up if you want. I might pick it up. I'm not a big rhythm game guy, but you know, just listen to the music and be able to play through it might be fun so I'll, I'll i'll take a look at it i'll take a look at it and you also should and my second to last thing that we picked up that i'm quite excited about is our vistella uh yes i know yet another fucking farming sim sim i i know i we we have been farming sims there's a million of them they kind of always look a little bit the same but this one kind of looks like a fun little farming sim meets JRPG, so I'm kind of excited about it. I'm looking forward to it. The art style looked very nice, very appealing to me, and I didn't really get the combat system at first, but I will be picking up and trying out the demo, which there should be a video up soon on the channel because yes, I will be picking up the demo and I will be making a little video on the demo the first couple of days on your farm. That is dropping 20, uh, and, and the, the demo video at some point, it should be uh, up on the channel uh look at the channel i'll have a link pop up here or there once it it is uh, available but the game itself will be available november 4th 2022 and finally the other big announcement i wanted to put one of the start with fire emblem and i want to put a point at the end to keep y'all attention through maybe you just skip the head because there's gonna be timestamp we are getting a second octopath traveler octopath traveler 2 is dropping on the Octopath Traveler 2 is dropping on the 24th of February in 2023. So, uh, you know that thing I said earlier about uh, Atelier, me not having anything to play once it drops? I've, I've, I've solved my problem. This game features eight new characters with the eight classes we are familiar from the first game. You get your warrior, your dancer, your merchant, your scholar, your thief, your cleric, your hunter, and your apothecary. The same people, the same classes, but new people that all seem pretty interesting. It's a new setting. We are now in the land of Celestia uh, in an industrial setting, more future, more, more, a little bit more in the future than the previous game. They didn't show a lot off. They kind of showed just kind of the overworld. Uh, they didn't really show anything combat wise. So I don't know if they uh, upgraded the combat system, despite I will say it was one of the most creative combat system for a JRPG uh, with the breaking points and the armor points I had seen in a long time. So I hope they keep that. But if they can find a way to upgrade it in any way, shape or form, I'll be I'll, I'll more than welcome the upgrade. They do talk about path actions, which will vary now from night to day. So you will have different action for different uh, quests uh, that you can perform depending if it's night or day or different decision. I, it wasn't really clear, but I guess we'll see once the game drops. Uh, they didn't want to show off too much, I guess, but I'm very interested because uh, I love the original Octopath game. It has its flaws. It has its flaws. However, it is still a great game. I'm a big fan of the HD pixel art. 
so seeing it back is a lot of fun i'm currently playing through triangle strategy too so i'm you know it's 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 right fresh in my mind i am i am quite excited for this game something they did say they talked about intertwining paths which i mean technically i think it was a sentence they used in the previous game but does are they trying to say that they'll have a little bit more interconnection uh, in the game within within the characters this time around, or is it still going to be eight separate stories that only culminate like it pretty much very late in the game or the post game, depending on how some people saw it. But it takes a while in the original for you to get to a point where you kind of see where all the threads lead um, without trying to give any spoilers. Uh, maybe this time around they'll try to connect things a little earlier down the line. I would hope so. I think it would make the story narrative just a little stronger overall. You know, I can only stay interested and on, on the edge of my seat. Hopefully, uh, Octopath Traveler 2 uh, will be fantastic. And I believe that is it for all the JRPGs that were talked about at the Nintendo Direct. Let me know if I missed any in the comment section or anything you would like to see me cover here on the JRPG News Corner. This is a new series, so it's a lot of building blocks. We're going to try out a lot of things. Uh, I'll try to keep my eye on the subreddits, on the news sites. They try to give you guys at least one of these every other week. I don't know how, like, there's not always a lot of content. You know, sometimes gaming news is, stays kind of dead. And, you know, when you go into subgenre like JRPG, it can be that way. So I'll try to keep it fresh for you guys. Keep, bring, keep bringing ideas, news, and, and just rumors, maybe, if I can. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this format. Tell me what you'd like me to see do in the future, what you'd like to change or whatever. And what game are you most excited for? And what JRPG are you going to be picking up in the future? I'd like to thank you all for watching. Don't forget to leave a like if you liked the video. Subscribe if you want to see more. Check out all the other uh, video and JRPG content here on the channel. And uh, I wish you guys a fantastic rest of your day. Stay cute. Stay awesome, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.